Welcome to the Sober Cube podcast. Hi, my name is Winceslo and I'm an alcoholic. And the question is, how do we ensure our fourth step inventory is fearless and thorough? Um, for me, uh, when I came into AA, um, I didn't have any intention of do any inventory. I, I didn't know it was required. It was just sort of, um, I was just willing just to follow simple suggestions by the older sober members in my first home group. Um, and then within two weeks, it was suggested that, that I go along with a couple of other members who were going to do um, an inventory work in in the weekend. So um, I did it, not because I wanted, it, but they seemed to know what was best for me. And at the time, I was just... Um, it was just simple for me to do that and instead of continue doing what I was doing before. Um, and to be honest, um, I was just trying to run away. For me, the idea of just going away for one weekend seemed, seemed better than handle reality. Um, I was living with my parents at the time and, and everyone was going through their own journeys in, in, in alcoholism and drug addiction as well. So... For me, it was just a better idea just to go away one weekend. And um, how I know um, I was doing it um, fearless and thorough, I really think it's um, after I finish my inventory, there's um, before or, yeah, there's a, there's a question that the, the sponsor usually asks is, uh, is there something missing? in your inventory or is it something else that is bothering you and i think that is what for me means fearless and thorough um it gives me the opportunity to to be more open because by this time i already written down some truths that i wasn't willing before i started the inventory work um i stop um blaming other people and I didn't even know that I was speaking victimies. Um, I was just the victim of everyone else's. Um, and I take, I started taking ownership of my, of my own actions. And I think it's at this point where I realized that I, that I kept few stuff, few, few things that I, it's usually the thirties little secrets that I'm not able to, or I don't trust people to tell them and this is it this is the part where I was um um completely honest with uh with my sponsor at the time and um and still you know I I I finished the first round of my inventory and I remember um a week later I was feeling great but the, then then a lot of things started popping up in my head and I and I thought I was going to drink again but that just kept me closer to my sponsor at the time and he was really kind and guided me through it. And he just said, um, this is the point of this. We continuously try to be as honest as possible. And you can only be as thorough and, and as fearless as really God can let you be on the first round. So don't worry about it. And you continue to try um, multiple times if you're willing to do so. So um, for me, it's just... Um, Am I willing just to give it a good go? So I'll leave it there. Thank you for letting me share. If you would like to share your experience on a recovery question, visit the SoberQ podcast website at soberq.com. Thanks for listening.